video, I'm going to graph the following linear inequalities with two variables. I'm doing two different problems just to show you the different types. And at the end, I'm going to actually show you how to graph these inequalities using the graphing tool on our online homework. So let's start with the first one. The first step is to dress graph with an equal sign y equals negative 3x minus 1, and we're going to do that like we did in the previous chapters. To the graph this particular one, I'm going to use the formula y equals mx plus b, where m is negative 3 and b is negative 1. m stands for slope, and if you remember, slope is always rise over run, so I'm going to put this negative 3 over run, 1, and the negative 3 is going to be the rise, and the 1 is going to be the run. The b is the y-intercept. And since the y-intercept x is 0, this corresponds to the point 0, comma, negative 1. So I'm going to start by graphing that y-intercept, or plotting that y-intercept. So I'm going to draw my xy plane, and I'm going to go ahead and plot on the y-axis 0, negative 1. And then from that point, I know I can go down 3 and to the right 1 rise a negative 3, which is down, and run 1. Since the slope is also, you could write negative 3 is 3 over negative 1, that also represents 3. If I wanted to get another point and didn't want to go way down there, I could have rose 3 and run 1 to the left. 1, 2, 3, rise 3, and go to the left 1. That would give me a nice line to draw. I chose a solid line because of the less than or equal to, which is step two. If it is less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, you always draw a solid line. It's because of the equal to sign. It's letting you know that line is included in our solution. If it's a plane less than or a plane greater than, then it's a dashed line. Next, we're going to deal with the shading. So since this is y is less than or equal to, we know that the shading is below, things that are smaller than the line. And that would be the solution or the answer. All the solutions are anything that is on the line. So for instance, if you plug in uh, 1, you get negative 4. That's a solution because negative 4 is equal to negative 4, or things that are below, like 1, negative 5, which is right down here. If I plug in 1, that would be negative 5 is the y, would be smaller or equal to the negative 4. That would make sense. So we're looking for all the y's that are smaller than that line. The book does it another way. The book always likes to test a point that is not on the line. 0, 0 is a popular point to test. Since uh, 0, 0 is the origin, it's above the line, we have to pick a point that is not on the line. And 0, 0 is not on the line, so we can use that. And what we're going to do is plug that into our original equation, which is y is less than or equal to negative 3x minus 1. So if we plug in y is 0 here and x is 0, we notice that the left side is 0 and the right side is negative 1. But 0 is not smaller or equal to negative 1. That does not make sense. So that is not true. So 0, 0, which is right as the origin, is not in the shading. So the shading is the opposite. OK, let's try our second one. So let's do step one. And you could graph this the same way, solve for y, and use the mx plus b. But just to show you another method, let's uh, graph this using the intercept method. The intercept method, just make a table and you plug in 0 for x and 0 for y. If I plug in 0 for x, the x goes away in my equation. So you get a negative 3y equals 4, y is negative 2. I divide both sides by negative 3. And then the same thing here, we're going to plug in now y is 0. And what are we going to get is uh, the y's go away, so you get 2x equals 6. Dividing both sides by 2, you get x equals 3. 
and those are the points that I am going to plot. So on my xy plane, I'm going to go to the y-intercept and plot the point 0, negative 2, which is right there. And then on the x-intercept, we know it's 3, 0. 1, 2, 3 is the point that I'm going to plot, and I'm going to draw a line. But this time, I'm going to draw a dotted line. Why dotted? Because the original equation had a plane less than, so the line is not included. So there is my dotted line. That is step two. Step three, the shading. The shading is not so evident here. It's not going to be below the line. Why? Because of this negative three in front of the y. To see this, I'm going to do first, this time, the books method, uh, testing a point. So I'm going to take my original equation and test the point 0, 0. Again, 0, 0 is not on the line. Plug in 0, 0 into my original equation. I get 2 times 0 minus 3 times 0 is less than 6, or 0 is less than 6, where this time it's true. So that means that 0, 0 is part of our shading. So the shading is above the line which was not the original equation. The original equation was less than. If you want to see it intuitively, like we did on the left-hand side, you would have to have solved for y first. So let's try that. To solve 2x minus 3y less than 6 for y, we need to sub subtract 2x from both sides. To get a negative 3y is less than negative 2x plus 6. Then we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. To divide by negative 3, you have to divide everything on the right side by negative 3. And when you divide by a negative, what happens is this inequality gets switched, if you remember, in our previous chapter. So two negatives, by the way, is a positive. Positive 6 over negative 3 is a negative 2. And now you can clearly say C that all, we're looking for the y's that are larger than the line, which is above the line. And it's the line is not included. In fact, you could have done the whole thing this way, because notice the y-intercept is negative 2, which is what that is. The slope is 2 thirds up 2 over 3. Gives you that point. You know it's a dotted line from the greater than. And we know it's above. So that is how you solve that one. Graph that one. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is show you how to use the graphing tool, and I'm going to do it with the first one because the first one is actual a homework question from your online homework. If you notice, this is the same question. So to graph this on the grid, I'm first going to click to enlarge graph. And I'm going to start with the y-intercept. We remember the y-intercept was negative 1. Oh, so you have to use the first, I didn't click on the line tool. Click on that. And you're going to go and plot the first point, which is negative 1. Then we know that the slope is negative 3 over 1. I know that went wild. But from there, I'm going to go down 3. Remember, we went down 3 into the right one. Let's do that again. It didn't seem to work. 1, 2, 3, and down 1, 2, 3, and over 1. And that draws the line. If you want a solid line, you choose, notice that line right there, it says solid. And then the one below, that says dash. You want to keep it solid. But if you want the dash, that's what it will look like. But let's go back to solid. To do the shading, that's the step two. Step three was the shading, and remember the shading is smaller than or equal to. So we are going to shade underneath that line. So if I go underneath that line and just click anywhere, that will be the shading. So I'm going to save it, check my answer, and we are done. And if you look back at our original, that was the same answer that we got in our first problem. Hope this helps.